everybody. Um, as you recently might have uh, seen from my posts, uh, I've got a new printer. It's an Elegumas 3 um, and I finally made the switch to uh, open source resins, different kind of mixtures and everything. Um, the goal is to find the best solution for our printable action figure files. That is, we need a resin that is uh, tough and sturdy to do action figures and easy to assemble and not hard to handle. So, what I've been testing recently, among other uh, resin mixtures, is Resi 1, Resione, I don't know how it's pronounced, I'm calling it Resi 1, uh, M58. And M58 is probably the best resin I've ever seen. In the three years of 3D printing, I've never encountered anything like this. So, the first test was quite amazing concerning the overall properties. The quality of the surfaces, this is what comes directly out of the printer. This is not primed. This is a less translucent resin and you can see all the intricate detail directly out of the printer. When you wash it, it's amazing. So the thing is though, you see that the, that the joints are super loose. And um, the reason for this is um, the actual manufacturer's recommended settings of a 2.2 seconds exposure time per layer are too low. So I've experimented a little bit with this uh, testing ma matrix you can see here and this is the result on exposure 2.2, the recommended exposure. You see it doesn't work out at all. Although these printed really nicely but uh, you can see the fits are off with the joints. It's much too loose. So I went all the way up to an exposure of 5 seconds per layer which means it's a lot more print time but the result is nearly perfect. You can see all those small columns here. They all printed absolutely perfectly. Uh, this is what you get directly out of the print. I'm washing it in 70% isopropyl. I know most resin manufacturers recommend 99%, but 70% is a bit easier to handle. And um, then afterwards I cure it at 35 degrees for 20 minutes. So that's the same for all these test prints. Exposure settings of 5 seconds per layer work the best. And now I finally have the results. This is the first print with a 5 seconds layer exposure. And I'm blown away. I'm totally blown away. This is amazing. The joints are super, super nicely tight. They have a tight fit. It's, it's, it's posable, it's articulate, it works well, wonderfully well, and there is no dusting. That's right, there is no dusting. See how it snaps? Pop! Goes in, doesn't break, perfect fit, it moves wonderfully well. And now, check this out, ball joint. Oh, sorry, camera, where are you? pop. Okay, didn't hear it, but it was a nice pop feel. So, this is amazing. I mean, the joints are so tight at this moment um, that uh, it's probably going to lose a little bit up over time, but this is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. And uh, I think with this uh, quality of tight joints, you can even do little stop motion animations with these uh, figures. So, this is perfect. Resi 1 M58 resin. It's only 60 bucks per liter. If you compare it to other resins that give this quality, uh, 6 US dollars per liter, uh, this, is a, this is a bargain. This is a bargain. What you get, I mean, one of these prints, it's, it's, it's a few cents. It's a few cents to print this. Use it with an exposure setting of uh, 5 seconds per layer. Bottom exposure setting is um, 40 seconds. You can use, actually you can use the manufacturer's settings as recommended. Just before print, when you slice your files, I use Cheetah Box. But you can also change layer exposure settings on the machine directly. Change your layer exposure to 5 seconds per layer and you're good to go. This is doesn't get any better than this. This is really perfect, I think. I will experiment with some other resins as well. Uh, because it might be interesting for some other people to find really good settings, but this is 100%. I don't think it will get any better than this. So, um, thanks for watching and get your Resigone. <laughs> this is not a paid commercial or something. This is just my... I, I'm, I'm convinced this is the resin which I will use in the future on my Elegoo Mastery.
Thanks. Bye.